Welcome back, guys. Vivi Najaji's vlog. Fina released a merch collection yesterday, and guys, within three hours of the announcement, she came back and said that the whole merch has been sold out. Everything, like every damn thing, has been sold out. She said, Wait, shame I they pay me, I'll be waiting be this. Mesh that I posted now, now is ringing so that ah, oh, yeah, second badge, finish on mark by me now. Wow, this is amazing! I love the support massively. So, even some finishers were complaining, said they were unable to, you know, buy because they were busy. Somebody said, Fina, I did not buy, I was busy. Please, second batch, please. Fina now said, Mo, just place your order. I'm getting second batch tomorrow. I just wanted to see how first batch will go. Or oh, more finish and shake my leg. This afternoon, Fina has announced that second batch is ready. I'm super, super impressed. One thing is to make requests for merit, and the other thing is for them to patronize. And I love the support so far. My people, you will not believe that Fina got dragged because she said that the first batch has been sold out. You know now, as a business person, you are starting this business for the first time. You have to just bring out, you know, little quantity to test and know if people are really interested. It will not make any sense if she went ahead to, you know, produce plenty badges like, and at the end of the day, nobody will buy it. It will be a loss on her part. So somebody said something to Fina. The person said, Auntie is already screaming, sold out. Sold out for 10 pieces of clothes she made for test run. No website to even buy from. Safe, just WhatsApp link. Fina, that girl is forever restless and falling hands with the laugh emoji. You don't expect her to go and, you know, produce thousands of merch where she's just introducing it for the first time. Fina is wise. She released few quantity to know that if people will truly be interested before she now do what? Bring the second batch and all of that. Somebody is doing something wise. Taking smart move. You dare the dragon. Like, what was really going on? Where did they stop? And the one that blew my mind is this. Bestie that is jealous and envious and copying her bestie. Every moves from relationship to business ideas. I thought Fina said she will not sell merch. Next is swimwear line. You all be safe out there. All right. Yes, Fina actually mentioned that she will not make a merch. But Fina just kept making requests and... Why not? There's money to be made. And you, you've seen buyers already. Why not just make it? So this person is basically saying that Fina is copying Bella. That Fina is copying Bella's relationship. And Fina is copying Bella's uh, this thing to business ideas. We all know that Bella was the first person that brought out uh, a merch collection. But the funny thing is this. They don't look anything alike. Like, they don't look alike at all, at all. From what Fina has and what Bella has are totally different. Like, different to the core. So I don't know where this whole comparison and competition is coming from. Like, I don't get it. I'll say this and I'll say it again. It's okay to dislike somebody, but when you see the truth, please do well to say it. Nobody is competing with anybody. At all, at all. Fina, they still business ideas. <laughs> hey, you know, get it, I don't go here for this BB Niger street. But at the end of the day, everybody will be all right. BB Niger, Fina, Abifino. She go buy car worth Benz, for that matter, worth more than 40 million to 50 million. And people, they congratulate this girl. It's not really a smart idea. What is she doing? A very wrong something. It's very, very wrong. Because you imagine person will say, you come out from that place now. When you come out from BB Niger, which day for you? And you get that kind of money. So you to invest that money to build your brand to a place where you say it will attract more, more international brand to you to create business. You leave that kind of type of thing. Go they buy car. Some people for hype you as what? You know they see Tasha. 
Je imagine many bibi Nigeria don't come go and touch as the relevance today. Now only time you go take care this fina, you will so wipe come off from it. Your face, you go wipe. Out of all of the way that come off for that baby uh, BP Niger, I never see person like Tasha. That guy is, is too smart. Our financial IQ is very, very high. Brand see the uh, does the gay. The tomorrow say for the even 50 years coming, that guy will see get brand. She will see the relevant to be say because she's use her money wisely. She invest invested in herself, not be luxury. This guy fina be fina, you go buy luxury and you defeat like say maybe you don't arrive. You are making a big financial mistake. And this is the way you do in business, we call it financial blunder. You made a big financial mistake. And this will affect you for a very long period of time. So if you know what's good for you now, they give you one simple advice. Return that can now. Return that can now. Or sell them. If not some uh, uh, company, uh, the, the dealer will buy that car from now. If not some, they'll say they can't even reach one week. The fee take them back, maybe the highest one million will come off from the money. They fee give back your money, they fee refund, the, uh, fee refund your money. So return the car. Let's say, okay, now say you get like, uh, as they, you return the car, they give you 45 million. This five million, they collect Corolla, they manage for you now. They don't look as if you be celebrity, you must buy a car where everybody they buy. No, buy Corolla, that guy five million. Then invest the remaining money, the remaining 40 million, put it into business. You don't understand? You wouldn't have to use a bike, I can give people, maybe they drive for you. Use a bike, I can give people, they drive for you. And you either go to balance you or either buy other things or put into other business, maybe they drive for you. If not, eh, you go soon broke and your film not go last. You know, that's what they tell you. So do this thing when they tell you now. I bet who know this guy? Go tell him and say me rest. I don't know why people feel the need that. Feel the need to tell people how to live their life, how to spend their money and all of that. When Fina was broke, did you come out to tell her how to make money? Did you tell her how to take business advice and, you know, and how to make money? Did you come out to say anything? Now nah, she don't get money. You want to tell her how to spend her money. Please do well to rest. If she want to lavish her money, let her lavish it. Yeah, it's not your business. You know, consign you. Uh, investment, investment. You think investment is free from risk? Investment are 100% risky. And tomorrow is not guaranteed. So if she feels she wants to enjoy her life, please leave her alone. When she was suffering, nobody came to tell her, Fina, why not do this so that you come out of poverty? Why not take this business plan? Why not take this business advice? You did not say it. Now money don't come. You want the advice. Funny part is even the comparison she's, the guy was making. Tacha is a very smart woman. She's doing well in her own business, which is beautiful. Fina is doing well in her own field also. She's not just laying down and doing nothing. She's making her moves. All this time they talk, say, very soon now you will go out of the, you know, fame and all of that. You they curse her, maybe which are, are you wishing her bad or what? Like, I don't even get it. If you want to advise somebody, make your advice straight. Eh, you they advise, you they compare. You see, they tell the person how you know go make them. See, they tell the person, make you return the car. Like, what the... It's the name for me. Oh. I mean, last year, last two years, I met person, no fina. I met person, give her advice on how to spend money. Now, she don't they get money. You want to tell her how to, how to survive. Investment, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, international destiny. I better go and rest. Away from that, my people, loan. Cheesy and Donny have started following each other again. Can I hear you clap? <laughs> Told you guys that this is not breakup. These guys just did it to get attention because of Cheesy's homecoming. And the homecoming went well. So Donnie and Cheesy are back together. For those who they thought say don't you know like and this Mona know the two they judge fast. Mona relax. Today Cheesy reposted this amazing documentary. Donnie will be coming up with. And after a while, Donny reposted it also and said, Thank you, Cheesy, with the love emoji. My people, our ship is still intact. Dozy shippers, more than no fear. <laughs> Guys, yesterday, Donny announced about this uh, documentary that will be coming up on the 7th of this month called Unending. This is just a way for her to create awareness as regards to sexual assault 
and after when she uploaded that thing, somebody went ahead to drag Donny and said, Donny even released a documentary talking about sexual abuse. Hope all is well alone. So the person did not stop there. It did not end there. So the person went ahead and uploaded this video of Donny and she's having a good time. And he said he reached to write documentary. Donny did not see that thing and relax though. She went to the person's page and said, there is absolutely no way you are not a stupid person. My project has nothing to do with Cheesy. He isn't and will never be an abuser. You on the other side, you are an absolute waste of space. The person I replied and said, carry your shovel teeth and get her from my page. Your pretentious swine or the didn't real she. The person went ahead and said, Don't you, nothing can change the fact that you were abused by Cheesy. He held your malnourished neck with his wood hand and knocked you thoroughly, hence your documentary. To be honest, uh, I think people are really crossing the line all in the name of trolls and drag. There are some things that are honestly unacceptable, 100% unacceptable. Ah! Nigeria uh, fans, uh, some people can just be toxic, like in every sense of it. Somebody is putting so much effort, money, time, a lot of things to bring up a documentary that will actually help some people to speak up. And all he can see is say that cheesy, don't assault doing, and that is the reason why she's bringing up the documentary. Like. Wow, the way people raise it there, eh? <laughs> it took. This is unacceptable at all, at all. Anyway, it's just because we did Nigeria. If not be Nigeria, I guess some two person of his talk. You cannot just say it and, and go. You can't just say it and go scot free. You will be penalized. Oh, my take yellow court, eh? It's because it's Nigeria lawlessness and everything you say things and you get away with it anyway go ahead post bella bella the big bella this is your pictures eh? is giving see your beautiful face eh? and this is your small body <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air for me Ah, uh -uh, fine girl fine girl this is a beautiful lady today so take it guys we'll share your thoughts concerning this video